All right, I'm doing this under the Fair Use Act, which uh, allows me to comment on uh, on things that I have uh, disagreements with. Now, this is um, a cloud experiment, and this fellow is uh, talking about discoveries they're making um, related to the clouds and how they form moisture in the air, which um, uh, blocks the sunlight and, and does all kinds of things. I, I, I applaud that. I like to see what how this is done, but. The, the problem I have is that they have done all this with all this expensive equipment to look for something that makes absolutely no sense at all. They, they think that cosmic radiation, which are nuclear particles coming through the atmosphere, are showering the earth with ions that are making the, the clouds grow by growing literally little little plants. They're almost like little plants. They're cellular structures that are growing, you know, a little here, a little there, and they grow and, and, they, and they, they form little nodules in the air that cover themselves with moisture. H2O starts to cling to them. That's the way it works. Now, and then you get clouds. Now, they think that that's happening from cosmic radiation, which makes absolutely no sense at all. We know that the light coming from the sun hits the earth and it grows plants. We know that it hits the uh, space station and grow plants out there. We know that if it hits the atmosphere, it will do the same thing if there's molecular, biological things, a you know, very tiny substance in the atmosphere they will begin to grow because it's light. It's it's hitting the earth. Well, how would they come up with this cosmic radiation? I know I sound frustrated, but how, where did this come from? It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, and they think that they've discovered some big miracle here. And they are going to model our climate change on this. All right, before I start, I have no PhD. I have not lettered at anything. I have been doing this all my life, and that's, you know, in business. So... All I can show you is what I have done, and this is from long, long, long ago, as you can obviously see, and I was pretty deep into this, and I'm still extremely deep into it, and I understand all the bonding and all the different types of chemical reactions and nucleophilic invasion. All right, this is the director of plan, and listen to this now. And we're doing this in the laboratory at CERN, uh, because here... Billions we can do of dollars, under probably. completely controlled conditions, and we can know exactly what the cause is and what the effect. And in you have to understand what the cause and the effect is. Why would they go to cosmic radius? Look at all this stuff they're doing. And it's sunlight. Who are you going to go to the guy and say, oh, it's sunlight, so give me a billion dollars to do this? That's the problem. Everything is about money. In contrast, when you see processes in the atmosphere, the advantage is it's the real atmosphere, but of course, uh, you can't control anything. Well, of course, you could control the, the outcome. Uh, cloud cover and, cover and climate uh, is very profound. The clouds <laughs> suddenly a very strong net cooling effect on the atmosphere. Uh, if we could suddenly remove them, there would be a huge extra heat load on Earth. And cloud they're going to model our climate on particles. this And these seed particles, m most of them, more than half, are actually being created in the atmosphere from so this aerosol particle formation. Sunlight. And if you add more particles to the atmosphere, more aerosol particles, you make clouds brighter, they're more reflective, and they live longer. And both those effects have a cooling, both those are a cooling effect on the atmosphere. Before this uh, cloud result, uh, we thought that sulfuric acid... Anyway, it doesn't make any sense what he's saying. He, he's talking about the, the cosmic radiation is making this, the, the little molecules grow in outer space. It's totally wrong. Watch this video. It's called, um, hold on one second. Cloud shows pre-industrial skies cloudier than we thought. Absolutely no sense whatsoever. Somebody has to get to these people and straighten them out. It just makes total, and if they model our climate, change after this. We are so lost. That's all I have to say.